welcome to our last South Dakota vlog. We have been exploring the Black Hills, but we have left that region and have come down to a completely different landscape, Badlands National Park. It is a vast, rugged landscape of buttes and canyons, and I am excited to explore and do some of the hikes and check out some of the overlooks. The name for Badlands National Park comes from the Lakota word, Makosika, which I probably said wrong, sorry. And it literally translates to Badlands just because it's such an inhospitable area to explore. It was actually originally gonna be called Wonderland National Park, I guess to entice people to come. This park is also home to the largest undisturbed mixed grass prairie in the United States. And there are a ton of wildlife found here such as bison, prairie dogs, and also black-footed ferrets, which are really endangered. I doubt we'll see one today, but that would be really awesome. We are starting our Badlands adventure with the Notch Trail. It is one and a half miles round trip, rated moderate to strenuous. There is a big ladder at one point, and it does say if you're afraid of heights, not to do it. My mom's afraid of heights, so we'll see if she does it. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm excited. It's supposed to be really good views. We made it up the ladder and it's really only like the last third of it that you have to use the rungs. Um, yeah, still out of breath a little bit though. <laughs> We're gonna keep on keeping on. Okay, I lost mom. She was too afraid of the cliff edge with her fear of heights, so I want to go on without her. It shouldn't be too much further, I don't think. This is like walking on a completely different planet. It's so crazy, all the rock formations and everything. Okay, are you ready for the view? Here we go. Wow. All right, we made it back to the bottom of the staircase, or the ladder, I mean. Although the second half is more like stairs and you just kind of walk down the rungs on the ground instead of like on the ladder, if that makes sense. But yeah, coming down was definitely scarier, that first part, <laughs> trying to find your footing and stuff. But yeah, this was a pretty good hike. The first part of it up to the ladder is pretty easy, just a little hilly. And then after that, it's a little more difficult, a little more rock scrambling, I guess, but yeah, you get a beautiful view at the end. After a little picnic at the visitor center, we've come to the fossil exhibit trail. It's just a short trail with some information about all the animals that used to live here. It actually used to be an ocean, which is pretty interesting if you think about it but that was millions and millions of years ago. Most of Badlands National Park is just a scenic drive with a lot of overlooks. Here's one of the overlooks. This is a really hard place to photograph because it's just so bright and arid. <laughs> I'm sure it's much better at like sunrise or sunset and you could really like get the color to pop. I mean the rocks are pretty colorful but you need the right light for it to really come out. We've made it to Robert's Prairie Dog Town and even though we've seen prairie dogs a couple times on this trip I can't get over how adorable they are and the cute little sounds they make. They're just so fun to watch. Thank you. 
we have made it to our campsite for the night. It's this primitive campground in the park. It's called Sage Creek Campground. There's a bunch of picnic tables. Some of them are covered. Two bathrooms, a couple trash cans, but otherwise that's it. And we're really in the middle of nowhere. There's prairie dogs everywhere. It's like in the middle of a prairie dog town. There's also a bison over there. I'm definitely nervous about it. We ended up going further away from it. It's just one single bison though, so hopefully it's okay. Um, yeah, let's set up camp. to Wall to just get some dinner. It's like the closest little town to Badlands National Park. We actually already came here to Wall Drug, which is like this really famous shopping mall kind of thing. I already vlogged about it in the first South Dakota vlog, so make sure you watch that. We're just gonna get some dinner and go back into the park. This golden hour light really brings out the bands of color in the rock and adds more contrast. I can't wait to see what it looks like with the sun going down. I didn't film much of the sunset because I was busy taking photos, but it was gorgeous. Okay, mom, what was your favorite part about sleeping in a prairie dog town? The hard ground biting into your hip and shoulder, the haunting lullaby of the coyotes, or the bitter cold morning? <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's a toss-up between the hard ground and the bitter cold morning. Although yeah. the bitter cold morning did get us going faster yes. to get going in the car again. <laughs> yeah, we left really early and I didn't film anything, so flash forward to now, I guess. We are about halfway across South Dakota, I think. We have made a stop in Chamberlain because I wanted to see this dignity statue. It is modeled after Lakota women and she has a beautiful star quilt that she is holding out. And the way the statue is made, it kind of moves in the wind. And at night it's actually lit up as well. It's 50 feet tall and it's on this beautiful overlook. We have a couple other stops we're gonna make as well on our way home. Now we are in Mitchell at the world's only corn palace because if you're gonna be famous for something, it might as well be corn. They have all these murals on the outside made out of corn and they change them every year to a different theme. This year's theme is under the big top, so it's all circus stuff. They use 12 different colors of corn to create the murals and yes you can go inside for free where you can buy some popcorn and learn about the history of the palace. The original one was established in 1892 and the current one was built in 1921. There's a gift shop across the street where you can pick up some corn souvenirs and also some corn treats. I forgot to film an outro for this video, so here are some photos. I just wanted to say thank you for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. It really helps me out. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful day. Bye.